Hello, I'm Dr. Mackenzie Listrup, director of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Our center began operations in 1959 as NASA's first space flight center with our main campus in Greenbelt, Maryland. Today, Goddard comprises six sites across the nation with more than 10,000 employees. Our world-class multidisciplinary scientific research, cutting-edge engineering, and focused technology development have advanced humanity's understanding of the universe, ranging from our home planet of Earth to the farthest galaxies billions of light years away. True to our purpose, our achievements over the past year have continued to rewrite and redefine astronomy as we know it. There have been several firsts, many breakthroughs, and countless discoveries. Our success has benefited scientists, policymakers, and other stakeholders worldwide, and we know full well that the American public will always be our greatest stakeholder. While we're committed to the present mission, the landscape of space exploration is changing, and we're taking measured steps to ensure our future will be as bright as our past. This dedication to discovery, regardless of the challenges and opportunities before us, is as true as when we first opened our gates. So please enjoy this video journey through Goddard's top highlights over the past year. And on behalf of Goddard Space Flight Center and our talented employees, thank you for your interest in our work as we continue to push the boundaries of possibility. We're taking you on a journey of this year's top highlights at Goddard, starting with the farthest reaches in astrophysics, heading back home with planetary science, warming up close to our sun with heliophysics, and landing home back on Earth. Wallops Flight Facility, the Goddard Institute for Space Studies, Katherine Johnson Independent Verification and Validation Facility, White Sands Test Facility, and the Columbia Scientific Balloon Facility all make up the Goddard Space Flight Center constellation. Speaking of constellations, from our cosmic backyard in the solar system to distant galaxies near the dawn of time, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has delivered on its promise of revealing the universe like never before in its first year of science operations. To celebrate the completion of a successful first year, NASA released Webb's image of a small star-forming region in the Roa Ophiuchi cloud complex. Congratulations to the Webb team on winning two Webbies this year. One for the live coverage series from launch to the first images broadcast, and the second for web social media. Here at Goddard, many key components of the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope are on their way to completion. The focal plane system developed at Goddard and housing Roman's 18 detectors was integrated into the wide field instrument, and environmental testing has begun. Now inside Goddard's largest clean room, the spacecraft bus made great progress as well. The bus structure, harness, several avionics boxes, and INT batteries are complete and mechanically integrated, with electrical integration well underway. In collaboration with NASA and ESA, JAXA launched the CHRISM mission on September 6th to provide astronomers with a revolutionary new look at the X-ray sky. With CHRISM's improved sensitivity, astrophysicists will gain new insights into some of the universe's hottest regions and most energetic objects. This new NASA visualization reveals the scale of supermassive black holes. These monsters lurk in the centers of most big galaxies, including our own Milky Way, and contain between 100,000 and tens of billions more mass than our Sun. Congratulations to the Hubble team for winning the Webby Award for Best Video, Science, and Education. The video explains how Hubble has taken over a million snapshots, documenting the universe and what it takes to process those images. New in planetary science, the OSIRIS-REx team successfully delivered material from asteroid Bennu to Earth. After seven years in deep space, OSIRIS-REx flew past Earth on September 24th and ejected its sample return capsule, which stuck the landing at the Department of Defense Utah Test and Training Range. A preliminary analysis of the Bennu samples has revealed carbon and water-bearing minerals. Meanwhile, the spacecraft is continuing its journey as OSIRIS Apex, an extended mission to explore another near-Earth asteroid called Apophis. In other asteroid news, Lucy captured its first images with a view of the main belt asteroid Dinganish, the first of 11 asteroids that the spacecraft will visit on its 12-year voyage of discovery. NASA's first return to Venus's massive atmosphere in decades is underway. The Da Vinci mission passed its key mission and system requirement reviews in the past year, and it's on its way to developing a next-generation probe mission to discover a new Venus. 
LRO is paving the way for future missions like Artemis by studying volatiles, which are both scientifically important to understanding the lunar environment and will provide on-the-ground resources for future lunar exploration. Congratulations to Noah Petro and Barbara Cohen, named as Goddard's two science leads for the Artemis III and Artemis IV missions respectively, and to Kelsey Young for her selection as Artemis II survey campaign lead. The heliophysics big year is looking bright. Turnout for the annular solar eclipse was astounding as communications team members and scientists from Goddard and other NASA centers arrived in Albuquerque, New Mexico and Kerrville, Texas to celebrate the eclipse along the path of annularity. But that's not all. In April of 2024, a total solar eclipse will give everyone another chance to observe our star, the sun, in a unique way and to participate in citizen science and other eclipse activities. While people should never look directly at the sun without proper eye protection, safely observing the sun during an eclipse is a good reminder of the connection between the sun and Earth, and a good time to learn more about that relationship. Our star is active and is currently approaching solar maximum, which means an increase in activity like solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Understanding the sun's behavior is important, because this upswing of solar activity can impact our lives and technology on Earth and across the entire solar system. Our mission to touch the sun, Parker Solar Probe, is helping fill in the gaps in our knowledge of solar wind and the sun's magnetic fields. Parker Solar Probe will round out the heliophysics big year by making its closest approach to the sun in December 2024. Although not as hot as the sun, according to scientists at NASA's Goddard Institute of Space Studies, 2023 was Earth's hottest summer since global records began in 1880. The Canadian wildfire season had an early and aggressive start, saturating the troposphere with smoke. This animation demonstrates the transport of total column carbon monoxide that originated due to wildfires burning over North America in early June using the GEO's forward processing system. Here, we can see that emissions from these fires were transported thousands of miles and had widespread impacts. Gearing up for launch in 2024, PACE will help us better understand how the ocean and atmosphere exchange carbon dioxide and how aerosols might fuel phytoplankton growth in the surface ocean. By doing so, it will take Earth's pulse in new ways for decades to come. Down at the sandy beaches of Virginia, Northrop Grumman's Antares rocket successfully launched from Wallops Flight Facility to resupply the International Space Station in August. This year, the Balloon Program Office had a successful fall balloon campaign launching five balloons carrying numerous scientific payloads, including Goddard's gamma-ray hunting compare instrument and more than 100 student experiments from the cubes in space. Also for balloons, a super-pressure balloon carrying the Superbit telescope flew for 39 days. It imaged many galaxies while in flight, including the Tarantula Nebula and the Southern Pinwheel Galaxy. Last but not least, a revolutionary NASA flight safety system has enabled a new era of space transportation with the successful flight of Rocket Lab's Electron rocket on January 24th. This mission, the first Electron launch from the United States, was enabled by NASA's work in developing the NASA Autonomous Flight Termination Unit, NAFTU, a critical piece of flight safety technology required for this mission. Wow. 2023 has been a busy year at Goddard Space Flight Center and its campuses. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov forward slash goddard forward slash annual dash reports.